In the shocking 911 call, you can actually hear the blows as Christine McInday's ex pummeled her friend Corey Thomas. But police weren't able to trace the call before it cut off. Hello, can anyone hear me? After that, Christine was alone with an enraged war machine convulsing on the ground after a kick that lacerated her liver. He threw the dog's blanket on top of me because he thought I was just cold. That's the reason I was convulsing. But he still wasn't done. And as if the professional fighter's hands and feet weren't lethal enough. He then took a knife and sawed off all of her hair. And when there was no more hair, he turned to flesh. He, he cut my head. With a knife? Yes. And I just remember him still being so angry. He broke the handle off of the knife and still continued to use the knife blade um, in his hand to push it into me. We want to warn you, what he did next may be extremely disturbing to some viewers. He licked his hand and uh, wiped it across my vagina and said, that's my I'm going to take it back. When you just think of this person that you truly loved, it's really hard to grasp what someone can be capable of. Do you see him as a monster? He is, he is a person just like the rest of us. I don't see him as a monster. This person does have self-control, and he chose not to use it. Apparently, War Machine was not able to complete the sexual assault. But sometime after that, he finally looked around at the damage he'd done and made a decision. At that point in time, her face was incredibly swollen. She was bleeding, her hair had been cut off, she was naked, and War Machine told her, I can't come back from this. He looks at me and he says, now I have to kill you, I've gone too far. I, you can't be seen like this, everyone's gonna know. Then John goes downstairs to her kitchen, where Christy hears him rifling through her knife drawer. What did you think was going on? I believe he was getting another knife since the other one broke so he could kill me. She thinks at that point, I either can sit here and wait to die or I can leave. And so, wearing nothing but the dog blanket John threw over her, Christy sneaks through a patio door and never looks back. 911 emergency. Yeah, I need um, police or medical. There's a lady in front of my door beaten up. Finally, after hours of being beaten beyond recognition, Christy escapes to a neighbor's house. Oh, she's oh, yeah. at your door right now? Yes, crying. Do you feel like if you didn't have the courage to run that you'd still be alive here today? I would be dead. I know for certain I would be dead. Pictures taken just after EMTs arrive show Christy still wrapped in the dog blanket, suffering from shattered eye sockets, missing teeth, and one lingering question. Could any of this have been prevented? What if Corey Thomas, the man who was with Christy when War Machine came in, the other victim of his rage, had just called police when he left? I don't have like any negative feelings towards him. I don't know why he didn't call the police. I don't know. So we decided to ask him. It was to be one of his first times talking publicly about that night. Did you know about him at the time? Did you ever meet him prior to that night? No. He says it wasn't until after two months of dating Christy when she and John started talking about getting back together that he even really became aware of the man. Still, Corey had no idea what agreeing to stay over that night would lead to. Almost right 30 minutes after we turn the lights off and go to sleep, then that's when War Machine comes in. I look over, I just see out of his mouth, what the f and the next thing I know, he's already on top of me. It's just smashing my face. Boom, boom, boom. He came on top of me and got me in a rear naked choke. I thought to myself, oh, OK. Yeah, he's got me right now. Did he want to kill you? But yeah, he was, he was trying. Like, you can feel it when someone's giving them given their all. But Corey says War Machine got winded after that, and he was able to wriggle out of the hold. Then, he says, with his neck throbbing and blood running down his face, things got confusing. By that time, he starts to tell Christy, tell him that you love me, tell him you told me that you wanted to marry me today and you love me, and she's repeating it like a parrot in the background. In the moment, you think to yourself, why am I getting my ass kicked by this guy and she's telling him that she loves him? I figured to myself, I'm in the wrong bed at the wrong time with the wrong girl. So in a move many might find shocking when John told him to leave, 
you crazy kids can work this thing out yourselves. I gathered my stuff and I left. Even more shocking, instead of going to authorities, he went home. Corey did eventually talk to police, but only after a friend of his called 911 first. And that was two hours after the attack began, too late to help Christy. He said that if I snitched, she was going to have his friends kill me. Okay. I think the question that lingers is why didn't you get help for her when you left? Were you worried about her safety? No, because I thought to myself, we just fought. Fight's over. But if he's brutally beating you, you don't think he would do that to her? Who hits a girl? Like, seriously? You thought they were just going to make up and talk it out? Yeah. Yeah. And Corey says there were other reasons for him to believe she was fine. Very shortly after he left, Corey got a series of texts from Christie's phone, including one that read, he calmed down now. Can't believe this happened. I'm so sorry. Corey later replied, did he hurt you? And got this text in response. No yelled. It wasn't until later that Corey learned the truth behind the text. Did you text Corey those messages? No, I did not. They were sent by War Machine, but still, I had to ask. Why not at least call for you to put him in jail for what he did to you? I don't know, like, let's say you were, you were to go to a bar, right? And then there's a girl that you're seeing, and then some other guy comes to the bar, and he's seeing her, too. And you fight over her, and she picks him, and you lose. You gonna call the police and whine about it? Of course, Corey doesn't feel that way anymore. When you saw her after, what went through your mind? <sighs> I just was like, I want to find this guy and beat him to death. Coming up. Where is War Machine? Did he surrender peacefully? No. And? Objection, Your Honor, wasn't laughing. I watched him laugh. You won't believe who defense attorneys claim is really responsible for the attack. The evidence is going to show that Mr. Copenhaver was told he had consent to do these things. And if that wasn't a big enough story on its own, did he then go on the run? Yes, he drives off and he goes on the run.